Howdy y'all, it's Chris with Shell Fitness. Today we're in class, we went over the muscular system. So we've already gone over the skeletal system, which is 206 bones, basic unit being the osteon. The nervous system, which is your central, which is your brain, spinal column, peripheral, basic unit being the neuron. And now we have the muscular system, which is the basic unit, the sarcomere. So we have the anterior, which is front side in the anatomical position. And then we have the posterior, which is the back side. Superior means above. Inferior is below. Proximal is closest to the midline. Distal is furthest away. So we're going to start with the main seven muscles that you will lift in the gym. So it's my favorite, chest day. You have the chesticles, hashtag. But this is your pectoralis major, which is three parts. So I'll put my hands here. The middle three are going to this bone, which is the sternum. Then you have the clavicle, clavicular region. Then you have the lower region, which is the costal. Some people call this the sternal costal region. But it's just primarily upper, which is clavicular. And you have the sternal, which is the middle, the lower, which is the costal. So that's why the incline is so much harder is the fibers are a lot smaller of the clavicular portion versus the sternal portion. If you were to remove the pec major deep, on, so the top part is called superficial deep. You have the pec minor, if you put your arms out and you just bend your elbows. The pec minor is a secondary breather. So it's very sensitive for a lot of individuals because we're breathing through our chest. It should be a two to one ratio. So with expansion laterally as well. But unfortunately today people just breathe here. So your pec minor gets really overactive and too much work. So that releasing it can sometimes help. Deltoids, you have the anterior region, the lateral region, posterior region. So we flex the anterior horizontally adduct. Uh, lateral raise, which is the abduction, which is the lateral part, and the horizontal abduction and extension are going to work the posterior region. So you're going to hear door slam, don't worry about it, it's going to be a little loud for a second. But go, going distally, we have the bicep brachii, which is the biarticulate muscle, which crosses two joints the elbow joint and also the shoulder joint. So the bicep flexes, but it also flexes the elbow. Biarticulate bicep brachii. We have the tricep, which is also biarticulate. Tri means three, there's three heads. There's the lateral, the long head, and the short head. You have a bunch of forearm muscles right here. We're not gonna really get into those for personal training and fitness. They're not as important to know, but they're very, very important to know if you're a therapist and so forth. Let's go back to the midline, the core anatomy. We've got the rectus abdominis with the obliques, which is three regions. I always tell people, the obliques are like three pieces of paper. You're not going to get bulky from doing side bends. People think that you're going to bulk up your waist. You have the most superficial, which is the external obliques. Then you have the internal obliques. Then you have the transverse abdominis. Transverse abdominis, those are the muscles that when you, <clears throat> you squeeze real hard, your pooping muscles, they go and they begin back here. And the coccyx in your spine, they come all the way in to the front part. So when you squeeze, you create that intra-abdominal pressure via bracing. The transverse abdominis is what you're engaging. So if we start moving on the posterior side, we've got the latissimus dorsi. Three main actions, extension, a deduction, and internal rotation. We've got the cool serratus anterior. I call these the rocky muscles. They protract the scapula. This is a fun one. It's not a muscle, but people say they want this the sexy guy abs. It's the uh, inguinal ligament, so you can't really get that. You already have that. You probably just have too much fat. So get rid of that summer, the uh, winter coat, and you will see the sexy guy abs. The psoas, this is the fun one to try to palpate. You go to your ASIS, which is the anterior superior iliac spine, to your umbilicus, your belly button, meet halfway. And if you flex the spine, and then you push up really, really high. It doesn't feel great, but then you lift up your leg, you'll feel your psoas move. That's flexion. The psoas flexes the femur. It's a biarticular muscle. Go to the quads. This is the fun one. Quads mean four. So I challenge you, anytime you hear a trainer use an acronym, what does that mean? What is quads? What are the quads? You've got the rectus femoris, which is a biarticulate, starts at the hip, comes down to the patella. And the lateral portion, which is the vastus lateralis, the medial portion, that we call it VMO and, and NASM, but the vastus medialis, which is going to be the teardrop, and you remove the rectus femoris, you're going to have the 
vastus intermedius. Hamstrings, there's three of them. You're gonna have the lateral, so if you feel the back portion, it's your, it feels like a guitar string. The posterior side, that's the bicep femoris. The medial side, there's two guitar strings. That's the semimembranosus and semitendinosus. They come into the knee, they flex and also extend. Gluteus maximus, big butt muscle. Extension, upper fibers, abduct, externally rotate, and then show me your belt buckle. What do you got? Posterior tilt. Those are the four axioms of the glute max. The meat is on the lateral side. We have the gastrocnemius, which is biarticulate, meaning it crosses two joints, like I said earlier. So standing calf raises are going to really work the gastroc more, whereas seated is going to be more the soleus because we're bending or flexing the knee. So the gastroc isn't as gazed as much. So seated is more soleus. The soleus is the lower one down here. Gastroc, soleus, hamstrings, the glute muscles, you know, the adductors, Major League Baseball, adductor magnus, longus, and brevis. Flexors, you know, your psoas, rectus abdominis, obliques, pectoralis major, bicep brachii, tricep brachii, deltoid, latissimus dorsi, trapezius, there's three parts. In one muscle, we have the middle traps, lower traps, upper traps. They elevate, they retract, they depress, they upward and downward rotate the scapula. And that's really the main muscles that we're going to talk about for the muscular system when it comes to a trainer. My favorite one to end off on, uh, here we go, future dog that I will have, sartorius, longest muscle in the human body, starts on the anterior superior iliac spine crosses medially then it comes up and it connects into the tibia flexes the knee a b ducks flexes it does a lot of cool shit longest muscle in the human body the sartorius smallest muscle you're gonna have probably up here some i don't even really know what the smallest muscles but one of the stronger ones is the masseter right here when you chew your heart's crazy strong powerful so are your glutes so is the soleus there's some fun little factoids on the muscular system. There's about 646, 650 plus. It's not as concrete as Skelly with 206 muscular anatomy.